Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. As for punishments from uh, WrestleMania weekend, I am wearing the Ronda Rousey t shirt. Yes, Ronda Rousey t shirt. Uh, and Thomas is not wearing makeup. He whinged, says that I couldn't do anything to do with his eyes. That's, that's the... Couldn't do anything to do with his face. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You said nothing on my face because of my beard. No, I didn't say that. You literally says to me, don't put anything on my face because of my beard. Yeah, I, I could have done that. A, a, a little bit of blusher, basically. So all I was really left with was lips. And we got the wrong shade, lip gloss. So instead, Thomas's punishment will be getting mixed in with uh, the punishment from this. Yep. He's going to be doing chair shots. Uh, I am will incorporate that into the punishments from Money in the Bank. But aye, that's what we're doing today. Our predictions for Money in the Bank. A lot's really gone on with Money in the Bank leading up to it. We've had some of the worst weeks of Raw. Eh, it's not really surprising. But, uh, aye, let's hope that Money in the Bank's going to be a good, good pay for you. Hopefully so. Uh, so with all that being said, let us actually get into it, our predictions. So the first match that we're actually going to talk about is for the Cruiserweight Championship. This is Tony Nese against Arya De... Arya Diavari. Who have you got in mind? It's Arya. I never know how to pronounce his name. Aye, it's Arya. Go on. How about Tony Nese? Tony Nese. Yeah. Too soon? Uh, too soon. If they had Tony Nese knock off Buddy Murphy at WrestleMania, then they're going to have a long run with him. Uh, even if they don't have a long run, this is the first title defence. Yeah, They're not going to have them drop it on the first title defence. At least it, it'd be the wrong way to go in my opinion. It would. So I'm taking Nice as well in this. And next up we're going to talk about the Smackdown Tag Team Championships match. Which is Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. Mm -hmm. Or just Rowan now. Against a team from Raw. And the Usos. I don't know why, but okay. I think it's obvious who I've got in this. No. It's not going to be the Usos, is it? Obviously They're not, not going to give the SmackDown Tag Team Championships to a Raw Tag Team. Uh, to a Raw Tag Team. It'd be stupid for who you're going with, Sam. No, I've gone with the same. You, you can't give it to the Usos. Ryan and Rowan. Yep. Not to be confused with Eric Rowan. Next up, we've got the United States Championship match. This is between Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. Uh, I kind of want to see some stuff involving Dominic in this. <laughs> Sorry, Arth. It'd be great to see Dominic actually start to get in here because he's he's, he's training. He's, he's a trained wrestler, isn't he? Aye. So it'd be good to actually get him in, in here. Aye. Uh, and against Samoa Joe, would be an alright way to do it, defending his dad. Or else he comes in as a heel and attacks his dad. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Rey Mysterio to pick, pick up the surprise win. Mm. Dominic to come into the ring, hoist Rey Mysterio up on his shoulders and then just, just drop him. For me, uh, I'm going to take Rey Mysterio as well. But I'm not going to take a heel turn the night. No, I uh, don't think we're going to get a Dominic heel turn on that night. So next up we have got Roman Reigns versus Elias. Not much really to say about this match, to be honest with you. For me, I'd, I'd love to see Elias pick up the win here. It'd be a great shout to have Elias actually picking up the win. But he's against New John Cena. Mm, it's not that. WWE are kind of pushing forward with Roman Reigns as like trying to keep the momentum gone because he's finally getting cheers. Yeah. For the first time in a long time, he's finally getting cheers. So I think WWE are going to want to keep pushing forward with that. So uh, unfortunately, it does mean that I think Elias is going to lose this. So I'm taking Roman. I'm taking Roman just because it's Roman. Just because it's Roman. So next up, we've got uh, the second instalment in Shane versus The Miz. And this is the Steel Cage match. Uh, who have you got in this and why? I've got Shane McMahon in this. You, you're taking Shane? I'm taking Shane. Just, just because it needs the momentum to keep the storyline going. Because this is one of the best storylines he's ever been in. No, for me, I'm going to take Miz. I'm going to say this is going to push into a best of three. Uh, the Miz is going to pick up this victory and then we'll see what happens going into the third match. But 
I, I really do think that the Miz will pick up this victory, get that hoorah that he got, uh, uh, you know, to get back at Shane for abusing the baked potato. I'm, go I'm making a prediction right now, we're going to see the baked potato at some point. No, uh, he just comes in and fucking horror Karana's fucking uh, <laughs> Shane, McMahon, Shane McMahon. After the top, after the top of the steel cage. Aye. <laughs> he, just, he just comes in fucking Shawn Michaels style. <laughs> Just fucking down on the zip line and then just jumps off fucking Hurricane Rana. So next up we're going to talk about one of two of Becky Lynch's matches. And the first one we're going to talk about is Becky Lynch versus Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Like, I love Charlotte, but the fishies that she's getting, the title shots and shit, it's just not annoying though. Mm. Title shot after title shot after title shot, even though she fucking loses every single one of them. <sighs> Who have you got in this time, Brian? Uh, for me, I'm going to take Becky. Right. I'm going to say Becky's going to win, and I'll explain a little bit soon. Right, I I'm saying Becky's going to win because Charlotte can kind of keep getting title shots. And mm. You just think it's a bit too much. It is. So with that being said, let's go get on to the other match, which is Becky versus No Charlotte. No Charlotte. No Charlotte. Or Missy. Or Little Miss. Oh black lady. Don't oh, black turkey. Don't know why I came up with that. I came up with that a little while ago. But uh, aye, Lacey Evans. Uh, who have you got in this one and why? Well, just because uh, it's the rumours uh, that this No Charlotte is meant to be taking over Ronda Rousey's place. I've got. You're taking Lacey. I'm taking Lacey. That's fair enough. Uh, well, for me, I'm taking Becky again. I've got a feeling that they're going to want to push forward for at least a little while with this whole Becky two belts yeah. uh, gimmick. I feel like they're going to want to keep that going at least, at least just for a little while. So next up, we're going to talk about the WWE Championship match, which is Kofi Kingston against Kevin Owens, which should be a Fucking brilliant match. Aye, the build up, the build up's been really good. It uh, really has. Uh, but who have you got in this brain and why? Um, for me, uh, I want to see Kofi keep the championship. I, I really do. I want to see Kofi keep the championship. There's so many great matches they can put on with. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a million great matches they can put on with Kevin. No. But. Kevin's got to be champion again at some point. We know that for a fact. Right. I want to see a bit of a run with Kofi. I want to see some great matches that we we won't get to see again for the championship because they won't they won't get to Kofi ever again. No. I really want to say Kevin Owens because like he, he is like, just fucking brilliant. But Kofi, Kofi, give him a longer run with a title. Fair enough. I mean, this is what his second title defense. Mm. That yeah, would the fucking Daniel Bryan uh, match on Raw. So from there, we move on to the Universal Championship match. This is Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks, they were claiming, "Oh, it's never happened before." Until Monday Night Raw, yep. they finally fucking acknowledged. They it. finally acknowledged the fact that they have had one match before this. Um, but it, it, this should be a great match. Uh, it really, really should. These are two of the best wrestlers in the world. So, uh, uh, who have you got though? I've got Seth Rollins. Taking Sethy boy. Sethy boy, yep. He knocks off Brock Lesnar, and then they, you can't have a fucking drop the table. Exactly, the, exactly. They're not going to push his, they're not going to like shit all over that momentum straight away. This non-existent momentum shit. Yeah. They're going to keep it going. They're going to push forward with Seth in that championship at least for a while again uh, I, I, I suspect we're going to get a big match for Seth at uh, SummerSlam Aye. right so next up we're going to talk about the women's money in the back ladder match which includes from Raw, Naomi Dana Brooke Natalia and it was meant to be Alexa, Alexa Bliss but she's not medically cleared so uh, Nikki Cross is taking her place yep. and from Smackdown Ember Moon, Bailey, Mandy Rose, and Carmella. Yep. So have you got in this round? Well, I've seen online, like, weird enough, like, we're talking betting shops here. Uh, apparently the person with the best odds uh, is Mandy Rose. 
which is weird. I don't want to see Mandy Rose win at all. Um, basically, my choice, or oh, I was fully set. I was fully set on Ember Moon to take it. But the thing is, if Nikki Cross wins, they could build a great storyline between Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Aye. So it's throwing that spanner in the works has kind of fucked me up a little. But I'm going to stick with my gut. Ember Moon needs to win this. They have fucked up with Ember since she came up. Aye, they have. So Ember Moon, one million, one million percent needs to win this. She's the fucking Sheen arm. Good show. But I reckon she's got to turn into a new coffee for uh, money by one of my shoes and stuff like that. Mm. She's got, she, she, she got to get, get fingertips in there away is. and then have it smashed away for you. Who have you got then? I've got Bailey. Bailey? They need, they need to do something with Bailey after all of that and They've done which is fuck all with her. So celebrate on the floor. Hey. So so give her the money in the bank. Uh have her take the uh SmackDown, Smackdown women's, women's Championship happy Becky. And then Ooh, it'd be a good show like say Becky drops the title to Charlotte, and then we get to see a rivalry between Charlotte and Bailey. Uh. That would be a pretty decent show as well. And finally, we move on to the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, this started at Braun Strowman was involved. Yep. Until they had the match with Sami Zayn. I absolutely love the fact that they put Sami Zayn in this. Sami Zayn's fucking incredible. So I have got from Raw, Baron Corbin. Baron. Sami Zayn. Drew McIntyre. And Ricochet. And over on the SmackDown side of things, we have got Ali, we cannot call him Mustafa Ali anymore, he's just Ali. <laughs> Andrade, we cannot call him Andrade Cien Almas anymore, he's just Andrade. It pisses me <laughs> off. Randy Orton. Randall Keefe. Randall Keefe. And last but not least, Finn Balor, Balor, whatever will it be. Or, as he called himself last week on SmackDown, Finn Two Belts. Aye, he wants to be Finn Two Belts, <laughs> which would be fucking brilliant. It'd be funny as fuck to see. Yeah, yeah, Becky Two Belts, Irish. Finn Two Belts, Irish. Yup. Oh. Uh, but who have you got in this one and why? Oh, it's, it's like with you, where uh, the women's, I was so set on uh, Drew McIntyre, but they thrown Sammy. Sami Zayn into the. Uh, Kinda of fucked me up here. Oh. Nah, I'm still I'm I'm sticking with Drew. Sticking it, with Drew. It's Drew's time. Well, here's an odd one because we thought we probably would have been different on the money in the bank ladder matches, but no. No. I'm going with Drew on this. Drew, it, it is. It's Drew's time. So there you go. There's our predictions. Uh, as for the forfeit, whoever gets the most predictions wrong will be facing. It's charcoal uh, blackhead remover. It's that face mask stuff. You know the one when you peel it and it feels like you're ripping part of your skin off? Yep. That's basically what we're going to be doing. The loser will have to have the skin ripped off. Anything you would like to say to finish it up? Wah! Wah! Hi. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did like the video, don't forget to put fuck that like button.